it's called How We Said Goodbye, and it's a poem I wrote about my grandpa. Five men with footballer haircuts and off-brand tracksuits buried my grandfather in a two-meter grave. Before that, they dug up my father and tucked him by his feet. I kept my glasses off, listened to a man of God who'd memorize his lines. Did he know about the end? Even when your mouth and mind defied you, you stretched your fingers out and counted what was missing from the garden, apples, figs, and that long yellow thing. I think you would have liked a room with bright green pictures of the otherworldly. I think you would have liked to decompose and feed the roots of something grand and worthy, like a peach tree or tomato plant, ripe with history, plump with giving, every bite a sacrifice. Thank you so much. Um, the next poem I'm gonna read is a poem about my hometown, one of my hometowns, Beirut, where I grew up. And it's about um, the aftermath of the explosion that destroyed half the city in August. And it's called, When They Ask About the Explosion. The day my city was destroyed, I browsed the aisles at Waitrose, wondering if I should buy more cheese. As my sister looked out from her car onto the deafening red, the mushroom cloud, the foreign rubble. I was wondering if I can fake a migraine, sign off early. My best friend texts me, I have never felt more scared. And I remember how we heard a bomb one day and he said, well, it's done now, so we might as well get coffee. I want to smash the windows of my London flat so at sunrise we can both be sweeping. I want to turn off all the lights in this jammy bastard city, trigger earthquakes, cut the jasmine from my throat. I want to dig you out of the debris and piece our city back together. We are stuck in an ungodly split screen, each wishing we were someplace else, gargling with this sticky goo that's left behind. <laughs>